Good morning everyone, welcome to Vlogtober. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is day one of Vlogtober, so I hope you guys enjoy this month. And it's a day in the life slash vlog, so that's what happens on Mondays, always a vlog or day in the life. But that being said, I've just dropped Alex to school and I need to go to Lidl. I also want to go to Danelm to look at some fabric and I also want to post Paul a package. Let me show you what I usually put in one of his packages. So I usually get one of these parcel boxes. I have quite a few in stock uh, already, but what I do, if you don't know, they can have up to two kilos and it's a free package. So here's some of the stuff I put in. I've got these Gray's little boxes. I'm putting some of that. Also got some medicine, like hot, cold. Not hot, cold. Cold and flu, whatever. Medication there. This time I'm putting in some Skittles. Also some coffee. Some Fisherman's friends honey and lemon lemon this is again for colds and paul's favorite chocolate got twirls twirls i'm also putting another one of these cheese savories he loves these there's a few more bags of skittles and then i always try and put a card as well this is just a card i had in stock i don't even have an envelope but i write him a message in there and that's it. I then have, have to fill in a customs declaration. It will say that it's a gift and I'll put sweets, medication, anything that's inside and then what I think the value of it is. And I will sellotape the box, put his address on and voila. So guys, we are in the car, obviously, and we're driving over. So I wanna go to Dunelm like I said because I want to try and find some fabric and this is for a project that I'll be sharing with you later on in Vlogtober and I also want to go to Lidl stock up because I'm missing my yogurt mainly but I also want to get a few other bits well quite a lot to be fair and then I've got to go to the post office to drop off Paul's package and then go home again. My friend's coming over for dinner tonight, so I really want to try and make bulingers de bacalao, which are like uh, cod fish, well, cod fish, salted cod fish cakes. Um, so if I do do that, it depends, you know, I might not be up for it. Later. If I do do that, I will definitely tape the recipe for you. Um, we've got quite a busy, I've got quite a busy day. The past couple of days, I've just been stuck doing loads of paperwork and there were still a few things that I hadn't moved over the address, so I had to do that. And that takes ages on the phone, so yes. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that I might be getting a job at the school where Alex goes. You guys, if you followed me for a while, you know that I used to work at Alex's school during the lunch hours. So I was what they call a midday supervisory assistant. And that basically meant that I made sure that the children ate their lunch and then I looked after them in the playground. I really enjoyed that, doing that, and also I loved seeing Alex halfway through the day. A little bit of a protective mum when it comes to Alex, so I might be getting, a, I'm in talks with this local school where he goes to, so yeah, that might work out. And it would fit in really well with my life because I can still do YouTube and I'll go to work. It's basically like an hour and a half a day. So that's pretty cool, right? So yeah, 
let's get going with this shopping and I'll catch you guys up in a minute. Hello, so I'm back from my shopping trip. Dunelm was a fail for what I went in to get, which was material. They just didn't seem to have enough choice, if that makes sense. I did end up buying a load of other stuff, but you will be seeing that in the shopping haul Vlogtober day. And I also went to Lidl, and again, you'll be seeing that later. But I've been home for about an hour. And I've been suffering for what my dad used to call Prigisit Aguda, known in English as acute laziness. I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered to do anything. I've got so much to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and motivate myself. I still need to make my bed. I'm not going to show you that because I am midway through doing my bedroom so I just want to show you at the end what it looks like but I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and just like that guys it's three o'clock it's time to go and get Alex from school Hello, Stanley. we are back from school and Alex is having a little treat it's part of a Tarantula sweet thing, isn't it, Alex? Did no. you have what? Um, this is actually just like a real tarantula because people can eat tarantulas in real life. But do you think they would taste like that? Because mm. that, I bet, tastes a bit orangey. It um, smells really it, orangey. Um, oh, it, it does taste a. It does taste orangey but tarantulas actually don't taste like that but we can pretend oh we can pretend that's right did you have a good day at school today look at your dirty nails are you happy yeah so you guys might remember that i asked you which duvet cover you like the most and you guys all voted and i actually chose the one that won the vote from you guys so let me show you it was duvet number three there you go you can't see it very well this it's literally arrived today but there you go i'll be sharing my bedroom makeover soon so stay tuned hello so it's actually the next day i don't know what you guys are going to think of this vlog but as I told you yesterday, I was so tired. Just find that on a Friday, which was yesterday, I just feel wrecked. So anyway, my friend ended up coming over for dinner and we just had like quiche and some wedges and salad and that was it. She did make me some um, Welsh cakes. Let me show you. Can you guys see? 
those are so so nice if you've never tried them and she adds quite a lot of cinnamon so they feel like the ideal cake for autumn i have I'm waiting for some friends to come this morning, well, this afternoon now, and I've made chocolate chip cookies for them. And Alex and I are just gonna relax until then. I'm already editing the vlog for you. I am sorry if it was a bit of a weird one, but just that's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Now, stay tuned, because tomorrow is DIY day. So we'll see what I've got planned. See you tomorrow, love you guys. Bye.